What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Saw 11 in this video here today. We're going to talk about the potential delays that could be on, upcoming for the film. We're also going to talk about the scrap TV show that we likely never will get, at least not in this format, from Mark Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan, the two writers responsible for Saw 6, I believe, who have returned for Saw 11. Viewer Non put out this tweet a few days ago saying dear saw producers when you guys call all the shots we get saw 4 saw 5 3d and jigsaw when you let kevin grudert be in charge we get saw 6 and saw x please trust grudert because numerous people involved with 11 have reached out concerned about your decisions it's literally a 180 flip from what i heard during pre-production and filming of saw x where everyone was confident they had something that was going to surprise people I didn't know if I would make this post, but we're getting to a crisis point and more and more people every week, some old sources, some new, are in my DMs talking about how worried they are and there's a consensus Mark and Orrin are the problems with Saw 11. Now that tweet from viewer Non led to Josh Stolberg, who we know stepped away from Saw 11 as a writer with his co-writer. None of them are involved with the writing process. Again, it's Patrick and Mark is back. Josh put out a tweet and obviously it seems like in response to the madness and concern surrounding saw 11 now saying everybody should slow the f down with the gossip on saw 11 i have nothing to do with the film but i also know that the people involved really love the franchise and want it to work i don't know what's up but having lived in the sausage factory for close to a decade take a deep breath i mean obviously they want it to work because they want the ip to be profitable so they can keep enriching themselves that's the first and foremost thing for a lot of these people uh creatively the creatives involved with it they just want to put out a quality film i would imagine so if what viewer non has tweeted out is true obviously and i gotten a lot of dms from you guys this does not bode well for anyone that was going into saw 11 with a lot of excitement and this makes you concerned because it does make me concerned i wasn't necessarily going into saw x with a lot of excitement but i was excited going off of what we were slowly learning and now if we're slowly learning negativity surrounding saw 11 and I'm engaging with that negativity, it's gonna rub off on me. Absolutely, it's gonna rub off. So if the producers are causing an issue, I'm a little bit concerned now about the quality of what we get with Saw 11, which would be unfortunate to come off of such a high and then go back down to such a low that fast. When it seemed like Saw X was setting you up perfectly to just come back, put out a series of quality films, two or two or three more, uh, one or two actually. You can stop it, Saw. Uh, saw 12 i don't care <laughs> put out a trilogy a solid trilogy of quality saw films and then dip call it call it a wrap but then hearing this i am a little bit concerned about what we could be getting potentially with saw 11 and it'd be unfortunate if the film again just takes one of the biggest nose dives after such a complete high especially when you have a character like cecilia likely involved in the mix again everyone loves cecilia obviously a lot of that was due to the tremendous performance from the actress but then to have these characters that we loved coming out of saw x back for saw 11 and the quality is suddenly flipped upside down is going to be very frustrating to endure such a film because it's going to be like how did we go from this to this and it's with the same creatives because of the influence apparently from the producers i would hate to see something happen where we get another apprentice twist and it's like here we go again what we had in saw x I think was very fun and unique in a way for the franchise. We had never seen a film mostly told from the perspective of John Kramer the way that Saw X did, and it didn't rely on a bunch of twists with accomplices and other things. It was just taking a deep dive into the character of John Kramer. So I would like to see Saw 11 somehow do another deep dive into another character the way saw x did if it's more of a deep dive into john kramer then so be it i'm not against that but tossing in apprentices again and all these other things i don't want to see any of that i'm not saying it couldn't come off well if they do it but the stuff we've seen in the past with jigsaw and even with some of the execution in spiral while i do again prefer spiral over jigsaw i don't want any more apprentices not to say that the guy in jigsaw or spiral was an accomplice or an apprentice of john kramer more like an admirer more than anything but i hope saw 11 can get its feet get back on its feet if it actually is having some issues creatively because then here's the other thing saw space official on reddit who's one of the trusted insiders said 
I have a duty not to comment publicly, but I will say we can probably expect a release delay and announcement on that soon. I'm not confirming or supporting Viewer Nod's comments. It's just that ducks all need to be in a row and filming would need to commence within the next two weeks to meet a September date. They actually haven't even started filming apparently. Shooting protocols have changed since the pandemic and things such as paperwork, permits, and safety measures take a lot longer post COVID. I've not heard anything su to suggest it will be delayed to 2025 yet. See it being delayed till maybe late October, maybe November, if they still want to actually get it out this year, but I wouldn't be against them putting it out in 2025 if it maximizes the quality of film we get. Then Vink360 started talking about the TV show that was scrapped recently. Over on, Saw, over on the Saw subreddit, who is another trusted insider. Vink360 shed some light on the scrap Jigsaw TV show titled Jigsaw's Twisted Tales. Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan's lost TV show will be covered in an upcoming book. It was pitched by the two notable Saw writers, and it was an anthology so essentially, with each episode being a different Jigsaw game, I would assume. Episodes were designed to be 30 minutes, all of this is going to be uncovered in an upcoming book titled Phantom Limbs, Dissecting the Horror's Lost Sequels and Remakes. What do you guys think about that? Do you like how that TV show idea sounds about an anthology show where you each episode you would have a new Saw Jigsaw game, which honestly, that's the appropriate format. I think most fans of the, of the franchise would prefer an anthology show, a new game each episode. It's pretty simple. Don't need to be overly complex. And it's a shame we're not going to get it. If we ever do get a TV show, it at least won't be in that form. But I recall talking about also in the past how there was this rumbling of a TV show being worked on at the same time as Saw X. That also came from Vink360. And the TV show was gonna be from the perspective of the victims. It's also set in between Saw and Saw 3. So was that something that was also pitched, but ultimately they went with this anthology show or do those two correlate? We'll just have to wait and see what this book sheds light on. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.